is the best high stat armor farm in the game. In a world where everyone has triple 100s, one man, one guardian has no hope. Unfortunately, we are not in this ideal world. So I, me, Zen, will guide you to a better future. How many defiant engrams to get triple 100? All right, so in this video, we'll see how many defiant engrams it takes to get triple 100 stats. We're going from rags to riches, man. We'll be starting out with the blue armor. Now, the way we'll do this is by focusing our defiant engrams at the war table in the helm. Now, I'll explain how to get defiant engrams, how to unlock the focusing, and how stat rolls work in this game. But if you just want to see how many engrams it'll take, skip to the sun. Now the way you unlock focusing is by completing seasonal quests. These will unlock it and give you the war table upgrades needed to get Defiant Engram focusing, which allows you to purchase high stat armor with Defiant Engrams. Defiant Engrams are rewarded from any activity, but if you farm the last boss of the Shattered Throne, with about a 50% drop rate, you'll be getting around 2 every few minutes. Be sure to purchase this upgrade to double your drops. You can also get war table upgrades by completing seasonal challenges. Now, here's a quick explanation on how stats work in this game. Basically, there are two slots for your stats. The top half is mobility, resilience, and recovery. The bottom half is discipline, intellect, and strength. Now let's say you have a 60 stat roll gear. 30 of that 60 will go in the top half, and 30 will go in the bottom half. The minimum each stat can roll is 2. With this in mind, to get 100 discipline, mobility, and recovery, it's best to put on a discipline ghost mod. This guarantees the stat rolls that you get on random armor will have a minimum of 10 in discipline. This way, all I need to worry about is not getting one out of these three in the top row. In my case, it would be resilience. I don't need resilience. I just need it to roll in recovery and mobility. Essentially, I raise my odds by about 33% because I go from not wanting two out of three to only not wanting one out of three. Now with all that out of the way, let's begin rolling some armor. Now I'll be going for either 100 mobility, recovery and discipline, or 100 resilience, recovery and discipline. It doesn't really matter to me, both are good on Hunter. One's good in PvP, one's good in PvE. I'll also be including class fragment stat bonuses to make this attainable. All right, man, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start by just buying one of each of these four. Now let's see what we got. So this is just straight up terrible. It's just everywhere, all over the place. This is looking pretty good for getting me the Resilience Recovery Discipline Triple 100 though, but it's only a 63 roll. Now the max that I've seen these be is a total of 67, so that's kind of what we're looking for. Oh, this is, yeah, we're definitely going on the Resilience route here. Resilience Recovery Discipline seems like it. Ooh, yeah, definitely Recovery Discipline. So you see, we're already 60, 70, 70. I'm not quite sure if I want to re-roll these boots or not. Now, they're only a 64 roll, but this is a great spike. And you see, we've only gotten four engrams, and we're already so close. Let's, uh, let's tune our class fragments to see if that can get any closer. So yeah, man, we got a little bit higher. Now we're 70, 70, 80 already. Let's see what else we can get. Now you see we're already 70, 70, 80 and we haven't even put on ghost mods yet. So let's throw those on and see where we're sitting. From what I can tell right now is we have five slots, which means that all we're missing is 30 to get triple 100s right now. With the ghost mods in, we are only missing 30 stats to get triple 100s. Now, when I master work this armor, everything will go up by 12. So that means we're only missing 10 because we won't need two ghost mods for recovering discipline. Two of those will go into resilience. Actually, we might already have triple 100s because the resilience will go up to 80. The recovery and discipline will go up to 100 without the need of two ghost mods. That's our 30 right there. So let's test this out. I think we already have triple 100s and literally all we did was buy four <laughs> pieces of armor. This is insane.
Wow, and just like that, all we need to do is switch these over to resilience. And we already have triple 100s, man. This is the best farm in the game. It is so easy. Now, if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be super appreciated. I post Destiny 2 videos every day, including guides like these and creative entertaining content too. I also post some Pokemon content. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.